Now with that real-life medical mystery for a Grey's Anatomy star, Chandra Wilson opening up about the rare illness that suddenly struck her daughter. ABC's Matt Gutman sat down with Chandra and joins us now from L.A. with all those details. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Robin. We know Chandra Wilson as Dr. Bailey on Grey's Anatomy, but when her daughter started having debilitating abdominal pain, the real-life mama had to crack a real-life medical mystery. And this one wasn't solved in an episode it took nearly a year of tests. The worst part, she says, not knowing what this mystery disease was. This tumor is dangerous, complicated, and smart. For 13 seasons on ABC's hit show, Grey's Anatomy, Chandra Wilson's character, Dr. Miranda Bailey, has saved lives and solved the toughest of medical mysteries. This job was made for me. But this morning, the five-time Emmy-nominated actress is opening up about a real-life mystery illness affecting her 23-year-old daughter, Serena. It's one she couldn't treat with TV magic. It presented itself like a real bad case of food poisoning and it didn't go away for about four or five days. So because of that, we went to the ER. We caught up with Chandra on the set of Grey's Anatomy. So does the TV doctor and you at this point start <laughs> to think, all right, these symptoms don't add up. This is not food poisoning. I've got to look deeper into this. Yeah, it, I started looking for patterns, right? When you are the parents of someone who's a chronic pain sufferer, you end up uh, creating these binders for all of the hospital stays. So you can keep track of every visit and any new thing that comes out. This one is a year old. That's, um, one, that's year's one year old. Of yeah. After 10 months of tests, Serena was diagnosed with cyclic vomiting syndrome, or CVS. Genetic experts say it's difficult to pin down just how many suffer from the disorder because it's so hard to diagnose. Serena was very lucky because of the care and persistence of her mother. Most patients go many years without a diagnosis. Did it feel better once you actually had a diagnosis and you knew what it was? The name gave us a direction to go in. Cyclic vomiting syndrome. And turning her life into art, Chandra directed an episode of Grey's Anatomy focusing on the scramble to diagnose this mysterious disease. Being able to be on Grey's Anatomy with all of those people able to watch it and hear it and say, oh my God, that's what that is. I've heard of that. That's my kid. That's my husband. That's my aunt. That means so much because I just remember what it meant to us. The mother-daughter duo posing for the upcoming issue of People magazine, hoping that their story will help others suffering from this disorder. That's something that I can do sitting in this chair on this set. Then, then my daughter has said, go ahead, go and do that. I don't always have to take her. She says, go ahead and do it. Her daughter's been battling this disease for six years. So why talk about it now? Because after being dormant for years, her daughter has suffered another crippling bout of the illness. And while they have a diagnosis, that's only part of the battle for people who suffer from CVS. There's no known cure or way to control these painful episodes. So Robin, still very much a mystery. Yeah, it is. Matt, thank you. We've got to bring in our chief health and medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, for this. It's great that they're shining a light yeah. on it. Uh, just tell us a little bit more on how rare it is. Yeah, it, it, it's very rare. We don't have a, an accurate number of the people who are affected, but what she's experiencing is typical, you, where you're, you're totally normal, and then you'll have these episodes where you're having intense bouts of, uh, of vomiting. It, it's, it's one of those conditions that's, that's hard to make a diagnosis because there's no blood test for this. So it's looking for that pattern, and having many years before you make a diagnosis like she did right. is pretty typical. How often, though, do people find themselves in this situation that they, they know something's wrong, yeah. the doctors can't identify it, what do they do? You know, it's it's more common than you might think. They, they've, they've cataloged more than 7,000 rare disorders, and these are disorders that may affect just a few people or up to 100,000 people or 200,000 mm -hmm. people. With those conditions, it's really, really hard because any one doctor that you see may never have seen them before, wow. and that makes it really challenging. And you want to start with your regular doctor, and but if you're not getting it there, you want to push, follow up, and then get to see a specialist. Rich, you have been our regular doctor here at ABC, and I'm going to try and get through this without crying. Uh, I won't be here next week when you're saying goodbye because you're going on and you're doing something wonderful. And I wanted to say thank you personally. You have helped me through my health challenges and everybody else here and just love you and just so appreciative 
of everything you've done for us here at ABC News. The, the time I've spent with you here has been an honor. It's been a privilege talking with you and through you about health to our audience has just been, it's been one of the greatest things of my life. And thank you for everything you've given me. Bless you. Yeah. Michael? I gotta say, Robin Doc, you will be missed. And as you told me this morning, when you leave, I'll be the tallest man in the building again. Yeah. And Robin, I'm Bart. The bell for Dr. Besser, yeah! There we go, Doc, we love you, man. <laughs>